Hello everybody, so today I'm going to show you a generic theory video, by that I mean a video that can cover all of your major scales across the board for any grade and for any time. Once you've learned this method for writing your major scales, you don't need to learn any other system and you do not need to learn any other major scales. That's the end of it. Major scales are over for you. So I'm going to show you how that works. Firstly, you need to learn a rhyme based on these letters. So there are many little rhymes that you learn in music. You need to learn a rhyme that has to do with these letters. Father Charles goes down and ends battle. Or my favorite from school, Fat Cat goes down and eats bread. But the trick here is you have to be able to say this rhyme backwards as well. Father Charles goes down and ends battle. Battle ends and down goes Charles's father. Don't mix these up when you come backwards. Uh, battle ends and down goes Charles's father, not Father Charles. I changed my rhyme at school because I used to mix them up. So my rhyme, fat cat goes down and eats bread, bread eats and down goes cat's fat. All right, so that's the first thing. Sounds silly, but you need to know a rhyme based on that. And I call this the first function of this rhyme because you're going to use it again for something else. The first function of this rhyme. Okay, the first function is to draw a major key line. You may have seen on the internet if you look up the um, the the major key sign or key signature or a key signature circle. You'll see a big circle and all the key signatures are around the circle. I don't use that method. I could never draw a proper circle at school and it ended up looking terrible. And I ended up mixing up all the um, the key signatures. So. I've taken that circle and I just draw it out in a straight line. So what do you do next? You get your rhyme. You make sure you can say it forward and back. And then what you do is you take this rhyme and you move it to here. Fat cat. And you put two sharps on the left side of those two uh, letter names. So fat cat goes down eats and eats bread. Fat cat. And that's where you end it. Now, take the rhyme and write it backwards. Battle ends and down goes Charles's father. Battle ends and down goes Charles. You don't have to go to the F because that's where the line ends. Put a flat on the right side of these. And that is your major key line. That is every single major scale which you'll have to write from now until eternity. There aren't any others. So the major key line now how does this work how do we number it put a line down in the middle everybody knows everybody who's doing theory the first thing they learn is c major or everybody's doing an instrument the first scale you learn is c major it has no sharps and flats put a nice note there no sharps and flats all the key major key signatures that are have to do with sharps go on the right side of c and all of them that have to do with flats go on the left side. So now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. G major has one sharp, D major has two, A three, E four, B five, F sharp six, C sharp seven. And now you do the same on the other side for the flats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You only have to go up to seven on either side. And this diagram gives you all the major keys that exist basically for major scales so you don't need anything else what i encourage you to do is learn how to write it properly don't make mistake when you write it and then write it at the top of your paper when you get into the theory exam or in a rough piece of paper that they give you in the exam and you don't have to memorize your key signatures you simply go and look at them on the major key line okay so how do we write a scale one more thing that you'll need is to use this rhyme again in a different way and that way is to find the order of sharps or flats when you put them in on the scale so we write this rhyme again fat cat goes down and eats bread i'm hoping you can see this the order of sharps on the scale 
goes this way. The order of flats goes this way. Sharps this way, flats this way. This is the second function of this rhyme. And the second function of this rhyme is used to find the order of sharps and flats. So let's do a scale. Okay. Right. And this is what I call the step method. I mean, there are many step methods in the world to learn something. But use a step method wherever you can with theory. Step one. Check the clef and write your notes. Let's do D major. You simply find the tonic of D major, which is a D. A tonic is the starting note of the scale. Now, make sure in step one, these are written with some spaces because you're going to add the sharps or flats. And make sure that you have three, four, five, six, seven. You have eight notes. And make sure that it is written neatly. And if you start in a space, space line, space line, space line, space line, or on a line, line, space, line, space, and so on. Check that you haven't messed this up. You won't believe how many uh, pupils just mess up the first step, which is the easiest step. Okay, that's step one. Write your notes down on paper. It's D major. It starts in D. It's eight notes. Step two, you go to your key line. You say, well, how? Sorry, you go to your key line. You say, how many sharps or flats does D major have? You find out the key signature. Over here, you'll see D major has two. It's that simple. You've written this down. No need to memorize it. You've written it on your paper. Two. Now, which two sharps? It's on the sharp side. So it definitely is sharps. Which two sharps are they? And here you go to your second function of your rhyme and you'll see one, two. Those are the first two sharps. That is the order of sharps. It is an F and a C. You come back to your scale. You find F. You find C. And that is D major. Let's do one more. On the flat side. E flat major. You find E, you write in your notes. Make sure that there are eight. Make sure that there are eight. Right. Now, now you want to know. That's step one. You've written your note. Now you want to know what is the key signature. Go to your key line. This is E flat major you're trying to write. You go to E flat. E flat has three flats. What is the order of those flats? Go to your second function, B, E, and A. Battle, or bread eats and. Battle ends. Now here's the trick. If it's on the tonic note, you have to repeat it on both ends. Battle ends and. and that is E flat major. It is that simple. And if you follow the step method, step one, write your notes. Step two, find the key st signature. And step three, find the order you will have no problem writing any of your major scales that's the method write this down at the top of your paper after you've got into the exam or on your rough piece of uh, paper maybe mention that it's rough work and use it to find all the key signatures in the major scale okay thank you